what's going on everybody so today i've got a video for you guys talking about carriers in 2023 now i'm going to be going over the carriers the at least the two carriers that i mainly play in 2023 now don't get me wrong i have not played a lot of carriers this year but um i have played some and i think i can give you guys a general idea on really um what the best carriers are kind of ish well at least the best carriers that i play i, I only play two <laughs> so yeah now uh for the first one it's the russians the russians are great mainly because of the fact that they have their skip bombers and their skip bombers are very good for dealing with destroyers um you can literally i i've seen plenty of people dev strike destroyers right off the bat with those skip bombers like you literally can drop them right on their freaking head it's disgusting um so, yeah, now, the build I have for my Surov is, um, well, I've got it fully upgraded. I have air, uh, I have flight control systems mod. I've got um, air groups mod 2. I'm fully upgraded. And for the commander, obviously, I've got this guy. Uh, looks like Elon Musk. <laughs> uh, I've got Jersey Swirsky and uh, Riseo Tanaka for the inspirations. One for the uh, concealment. I want to have better concealment on my carriers because this thing has horrible concealment. Um, and I've got swatting at flies. I have stronghold. You could easily swap this out for one-way ticket. But I find that I'm spotted a lot in this thing, so I'd like to have this on just to decrease my incoming damage. But you can easily swap this out. In fact, I might even swap that out. Um, out of sight... I use it, you could you could either use Hidden Threat or you could put on this, but I find Out of Sight more useful because I like to use my Skip Bombers a lot more with the, with these things. Um, my goal when I'm using my Skip Bombers is to just absolutely dunk on Destroyers. So, I like to have a little bit extra concealment for my Skip Bombers. I like to have a bit more HP. Uh, for, the, um, for this one, I've got Dark Silhouette Carrier Detectability. You could easily swap this out, but I think the Fire Chance... And the bombs do just fine enough, so dark silhouette it is. And for the uh, for the legendary skill, I have fully packed. Once again, you could easily swap this out for torpedo master, but the torpedoes on these uh, torpedo planes are already slow enough, so I really don't see the point. Um, and yeah, he's a legendary two, rank fifteen. Now for the other carrier that I mainly play, I don't play many carriers that much anymore. But for the other carrier that I mainly play, it's the Saipan. Saipan is absolutely disgusting. Um, if you guys have not gotten this thing yet, um, or if you haven't start researched, start, uh, started your research on it in the Bureau, I, I highly suggest it. If you like torpedo planes, and if you like carriers that are able to just absolutely wreck things, this is one of those carriers that's really good at that, especially in the torpedo department. Now, for the build, I have, um, I have air restoration time, obviously, for flight control mod 1. I have, uh, air groups mod 2. I have Concealment Systems mod, pretty important these days, and I have Air Groups mod 3. Now for the Commander, um, I have it, I have a guise on right now, but I can promise you I do have um, King on, which is the main carrier commander for the Americans. Um, I have Taman Yamaguchi on for the extra AA damage per second, and I've got Raizo Tanaka on for the extra torpedo damage. Um, now I've got Swatting at Flies, I have Emergency Power, I have Hidden Threat, I've got Look at Me Now, and I have Fully Packed. Legendary 2, Rank 15. Now, yeah, those are my two, those are the, like, those are the two carriers I mainly play. Now, other carriers that are good, I don't really play many other carriers except, you know, the Russians and the, Amer well, the Americans and the Russians, rather. But other carriers that are really good, um, especially in the torpedo category, are the Japanese. Japanese are pretty good at that. Um... They have good air restoration time on their carrier uh, carriers' planes as well. Um, their bombers, not the greatest. Now, um, another good type of carrier, I'd say, are the Germans. Obviously, a lot of people love the Germans. Germans ha obviously have access to those AP bombers. Absolutely disgusting. Um, th their planes are very fast. And their, um, yeah, and their freaking, um, their torpedo planes. You can't sneeze on those either. Um, those are absolutely phenomenal. They're, 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 um, the turning time and everything, the planes are super agile. You're able to get cross torps really easily. Um, but I just don't prefer the Germans. I prefer the Americans. I prefer the Russians. That's just me. Um, and obviously there's the British. I really don't care too much about the British carriers. Not going to lie, but 
Um, they do have very, very, very tanky planes. They've got decent torpedo planes. They've also got, uh, they got unique, um, they have unique carpet bombers. So, I mean, hey, British carriers, you can't go wrong with them either. Um, but, with all that being said, let's go and jump into a match, shall we? Let's go ahead and play a match in the Saipan. We've been talking long enough. Let's just play a game. So, like I said, I mainly find enjoyment with my American and my, um, and my Russian carriers. Um, now... The one thing I like about the American carriers so much is they're kind of good at everything. They've got good torpedoes. They've got good bombers. Well, good bombers. I say that. Uh, Saipan's not really the greatest at bombing, but it still can, um, you know, do a lot of damage to battleships and cruisers. But other than that, it struggles, I'd say. Definitely. Um, now, anyway, we're in the match. Now, first thing you want to be doing when you're in a carrier, right off the bat, before you even think about going where you want to go with your planes, you should always look at the team, uh, the enemy team. Obviously, carrier, Kaga. So Kaga obviously has a lot of planes, but they're very weak. Um, Kaga is pretty notorious for her um, low diving HE bombers, and Kaga is pretty uh, also really good at torpedoing as well. Not as good as Saipan, but she's still pretty damn strong. Akazuki, very good AA. We got to watch out for that. Black, pretty decent AA. Um, but we're going to have to mess with those guys no matter what. Uh, we got a Siegfried Veneto, Kansas, Iowa, Massachusetts, Bismarck, and nothing too crazy. Pretty average for tier 7. Now, I launched my uh, HE bombers. Not what I want to do. I want to launch my torpedo planes. But, um, usually what I do right off the bat, before I even do anything else, is pre-drop. Um, I like to do this because I like to save my planes. It's pretty important, I'd say. Um, I don't like losing all my planes right at the beginning of a game. It's not fun. So, I usually drop my two planes, let them go back, and uh, basically save their life. Now, what we're going to be doing here, right off the bat, before we do anything, is spot. We're going to spot for our team. I don't care about damage as of yet. I want to first spot, get an idea where everybody is, and then we'll move from there. Um, so we're going to move right up the middle here. Right off the bat, the Massachusetts has been spotted. We want to stay a little far away from him because he's got pretty decent AA. Bismarck spotted, Veneto spotted. That's a little disgusting AA bubble they got. So we're not going to get too close, but we're going to get it close enough to where we could spot this Akizuki. Oh, all right. So, right off the bat, we're gonna launch our first attack. We're gonna immediately lead a little bit with our torpedo planes, and we're gonna come in and begin our attack run. Now, it looks like the Akizuki is turning in a little bit, so we're gonna drop a little early right about here, and pray to God that some of these torpedoes make their mark, and yes, they do. We get two torpedo hits, and that's half of his health gone. That's half of an Akizuki's health gone. That's beautiful. Right off the bat, we're already putting the destroyers, you know, at a very, very interesting position, to say the least. And we're just going to keep on harassing them. That's what I do in carriers, ladies and gentlemen, and I think that's what you guys should be doing, too. Is helping your battleships by killing those freaking destroyers. And even if you're not helping your battleships, you're stopping them from sneaking around getting torpedoes off, you're stopping them from getting caps, you're putting them on the spot. And that's what I think carriers are really, 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 really the best at is putting destroyers on the freaking spot and we're gonna do it again we're not gonna give this Akazuki a chance to you know get away here and do his thing we're literally gonna keep on attacking him we're never gonna stop ever <laughs> even if we miss at least we're keeping him spotted you know what I mean so we're gonna launch right about there a little early because he's turning in and stuff and those look pretty good once again um, and yeah we get two more torpedo hits and he's just like that he's already on basically um, no HP, and we're gonna get a cross torp in because we actually saved, uh, we didn't send one of our planes back, and we're gonna drop a little, maybe a little late there, but I think it should be okay, and down he goes. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a destroyer down within the first, first three minutes of the game. That is what I'm talking about. Carriers, their number one job is to spot and kill destroyers. I don't care even if you can't kill them. At least you're keeping the destroyers spotted for your team. And that's what we did. We just literally take, we took out a full health Akazuki within the first three minutes of the game. And that's what I'm freaking talking about. That is absolutely huge. That's huge. So that should give our team the opportunity here to do things on this side of the map. However, they aren't really doing a whole lot. So we're going to begin turning away here. Um, I don't want to um, get caught up in what might be going down here. So we're just going to go to the other side of the map, and we're going to support our destroyer 
by spotting that other destroyer, hopefully. Um, but by the looks of it, our destroyer sent some torpedoes into that smoke screen, and the destroyer is still smoked up. Now, if we look real quick, it is a black, so we know he has radar, we know he has pretty decent AA. So we're just going to go over here and see if we can't find him and help our destroyer out a little bit. Um, I'm sure he could use the assistance here. Now, what we're going to go ahead and do is just fly right on over this smoke screen here. I don't know if he's actually in it. Oh, he still is. Although I can't see him. I, I don't know what's going on here, Wargaming. Hello? <laughs> okay. Well, we already found a bug, which is fantastic. The destroyer was spotted, but he wasn't spotted? Question mark? Anyway. We're just going to pretend like that never happened. But, nonetheless, our Somers actually our Somers actually used his guns and did some things. Amazing. So, good job to the Somers. Now we're going to start messing with some of the battleships. The destroyers are down, ladies and gentlemen. The DDs are down. So now we're going to start helping our team actually win this game. We're going to do as much damage to these guys as humanly possible. So, we're going to drop some bombs right on the top of this Kansas. Make him regret life decisions here and yeah that's pretty decent results a double fire and we got some damage as well on top of that now we're going to send some torpedo planes out there now we're going to probably go attack either the massachusetts or the veneto probably the massachusetts because he's a little bit more low on hp and he's a more of a dangerous threat so we're going to take him out if we can so we're going to immediately start heading on over here to do some damage to these guys now like i said guys once you do your job in a in your carrier once you take out the destroyers once you take out or once you spot rather and help your team um then you can start going hunting damage you know that's when you can start hunting damage is when you do your job we've already done our job up to this point both destroyers are down they're gone we don't have to worry about them our team doesn't have to worry about them and that's huge so we're just going to be able to come out here and do whatever the heck we want with these guys massachusetts is almost dead He's probably getting will to rebuild. This is a very interesting launch, to say the least. So we're just going to launch it like right there. And yeah, it doesn't really matter. It looks like our team was able to take him out. That was a pretty piss-poor launch on my end here. But it's okay because, yeah, they took him out anyway. So it works. Then again, though, some of those torpedoes might hit on the other guys. We'll have to see. Once again, we're going to pre-drop here because odds are we're going to lose some of our planes. And actually, we did get a torpedo hit. So that's pretty nice. We did get a torpedo hit on one of these guys. I don't know who it was, but, um, yeah. If I knew who it was, I'd probably launch again and maybe get a follow-up flood on him. But anyway, we're going to come in here now on this Veneto and see if we can't do some pretty decent damage to him. Now, he may be able to smoke up, but um, I know where his path is, and I'm going to see if I can't just smack the crap out of him. Blind. So... Once again, we're just going to send some more planes out, and after we get this squadron off, what I'm probably going to do is send my uh, bombers off. Now, our team thus far is not doing great. Um, we've done our job. We've done everything we can up to this point in terms of helping with the destroyers, but our team is just throwing, man. They're not doing what they need to do to win this game. This is a completely winnable game, and the team seems to just be throwing all their ships away. And this is something that is completely out of my control. I can't control what my teammates want to do, unfortunately. Um, but, like I said, we can only do so much, right? Despite us doing everything we can in our carrier. Now, torpedoes are going to miss because reasons... Oh, nope, we actually got a hit. Got a flood on that Bismarck, shockingly. Um, but yeah, we're about to get spotted because, um, well, these guys are just charging in. And we're probably going to die. Our team, literally, is throwing this game. This is such a winnable game. We took out their destroyers, and yet they're still somehow throwing. Somehow, right? You just can't make this shit up. Um, but we don't want to complain about it too much. We just want to accept it, move on, and just do as much as we can before we ultimately die here. And uh, that's what we're going to do. So we're going to drop bombs on this Bismarck. Hope to God we get a fire. Now, of course, we don't because RNG says, fuck you. <laughs> so we're just going to see if we can't come back around here and maybe get a fire. We'll have to see. Once again, we're going to lead a little bit right about there. He's already got a fire on the back of his ship, so we're going to aim a little bit more for the front. Planes are absolutely getting wrecked. And it looks like our bombs still managed to lead 
are to fall back and hit exactly where there's already a fire, because, you know, yay. Um, anyway, yeah, this is just depressing. This game literally was a potential win, and now it's just getting turned into a loss. It's, ooh, it's a big yikes. Big freaking yikes. And I'm just going to turn my carrier around and charge. No point in me running away anymore. This is a loss, so I'm just going to not waste anybody's time here and just go right at these guys. Well, maybe I might not. This is still possible. Let's just keep sailing in a straight line here. Um, and do as much damage as we can. Alright, so we got the Veneto here. We're gonna drop some bombs right on his head and see if we can't do anything to him. Yep, we do get a fire just like that. Looks like the Bismarck did DC his fire, so we're gonna see if we can get a fire on him. Gonna lead a little bit, and it looks like he's turning to the left, so we're gonna put the bombs right about there, and those should be just fine. Of course, no fire, because Wargaming does not like me very much. Also, I am spotted, so I'm probably not gonna last very long here. I'm getting absolutely smacked around, there's nothing I can do about it. I can't pop a smoke screen or anything, so. And it looks like that Bismarck is gonna take me out with that salvo, most likely. Um, and no, actually, he gets some overpens, thank the lord. But. It really doesn't matter. We're pretty much deplaned at this point, and we've we've reached the end of our game here. We have reached the end of our game here. Come on, torpedoes, do something useful. Do something. Nope, they aren't doing anything. Amazing. Um, yeah, pretty depressing. But like I said, to sum this video up, like I said, guys, go for destroyers. Like, even if you can't do damage to them, always go after destroyers. Um, that's your number one job in a carrier, is to go after destroyers. Spot for your team. Help your team out. That's like literally your job as a carrier. You're a support role. Your, your job is to support your team. Even if your team is not doing a whole lot in return, at least you could say in the end that you did your job and you helped as much as you could. Um, and it looks like those bombs are going to completely miss. But nonetheless, I'm not going to watch that match anymore. That's just a depressing game. It's another prime example of teammates in this game absolutely being complete and utter retards. <laughs> but, hey, I don't care. It is what it is. But yeah, that's just a little bit of a carrier video for you guys. And that's just one match um, that I play, you know, every so often in my Saipan. And uh, yeah, like I said, to sum it up, go after destroyers. Spot your, spot everybody. That's literally your job. You're you're the most pitiful, you're the most pivotal and you're the most vital reconnaissance role for your team. Um, if you do those things, if you spot, you go after the DDs, and you help take out those destroyers, then you can start hunting for damage. You know what I mean? So, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, with all that being said, I hope you all have enjoyed this video. If you guys did, please be sure to go down there, hit that like button, tell me that you did enjoy it in the comments below, let me know what you guys thought of it. And, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel. Seriously, we're getting really close to our next milestone. I can't thank you guys enough for the support. But, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy, as always.